Okay, so have you guys ever wondered who would win in a battle? All Might versus Battle Beast? Well, in today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys who exactly is going to win this battle. Let's get into it. Sorry, guys, I just woke up and I know I sound like a bum, but it's whatever. You guys are still watching anyways. <laughs> and also, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Oh, and if you don't, I wonder how you would feel about swimming in a lake full of piranhas. Yeah, I think you should hit the subscribe button. Toshinori Yagami was a young high school student at UA High School without any powers of his own. However, a teacher named Nana Shimura saw great potential in him and revealed she had a special power called One for All that can be passed on from person to person, with each barrier acting as the protector of the world. All Might inherited the quirk from her shortly before her untimely death. Her close friend Gran Torino trained Tashinori to become a hero. All Might very quickly learned how to control all of One for All's powers and swiftly started making headlines, eventually becoming and remaining the number one hero in the world. His seemingly invincibility paired along with his personality earned him the title, the symbol of peace and justice. However, a battle with a powerful and ancient supervillain known as All for One change things. While All Might had thought he killed All For One, he was left with a grievous wound that had destroyed much of his digestive and respiratory system, leaving him only able to do hero work for three hours a day. Later, he applied as a teacher at UA High School to find a successor. He found one in Izuku Midoriya, another quirkless boy who had great spirit and intelligence. Okay, so that was All Might's origins, now let's talk about the powers and feats. Well, All Might has the power of All For One, so that means he's extremely strong, he's extremely fast, he's extremely agile, has increased durability, and and he is nigh invulnerable. And not even just that, he has a form of weather manipulation. Since with his punches, he's consistently been able to show that it creates large gusts of wind to the point that it can even create tornadoes also while changing the weather. All right, now let's talk about the feats. While All Might has punched a large monster down a city block, defeats a monster with the California smash hard enough to crater the street below, lift a sky bridge off of people, smashes a giant villain through the concrete and lifts him over his head, creates a tornado with a punch to suck up hundreds of exploding monsters, leaps across the city in one jump, punches hard enough to change the atmosphere causing it to rain, overpowers Nemu's shock absorption by hitting him until he can't absorb anymore, then launches him into the stratosphere. Well goddamn, but I'm not done. Punches a large hole in the side of buildings, evenly grapples with all for one, cancels out all for one attacks with pure strength, cancels out another attack from all for one that completely destroys his surrounding, even a clash from him and all for one destroyed a part of a city, and using the last bit of one for all's power that's within his body all might defeats all for one with a united states of smash well oh man goddamn this man got a lot of feats but what about Battle Beast? Battle Beast, aka Throck, was once the planetary guardian of his home planet. However, due to the consistent fighting, he would grow addicted to it and eventually leave to seek worthy combatants. Literally, that is his origins. Like, I'm serious. That is all we know about him. <laughs> okay, so that was Battle Beast's origins. Now let's talk about his powers and feats. Well, in my opinion, Battle Beast is one of the most dangerous and lethal characters in the Invincible run. He has superhuman strength, speed, agility, durability, and vulnerability. He's a full package here. And he also has a pretty brutal arsenal where he carries around a giant sword and a mace. And you can consider him to be a multi melee master. All right, now let's talk about the feats. Well, I mean, Battle Beast has easily defeated Invincible, easily defeats Bulletproof and Black Samson, fights and kills a adult Viltramite, damages a Viltramite and swings her into another Viltramite, damages multiple Viltramites, kills multiple Ragnars, and last but not least, Battle Beast versus Thrag. Battle Beast destroys one of Thrag's eyes and causes some heavy damage, but it unfortunately ultimately ends with Battle Beast losing. But at the beginning of the fight, despite hurting himself, Battle Beast and Thrag fought for multiple days straight at high speeds. Wait, you thought I was done? Battle Beast was able to survive in the vacuum of space for an unknown period of time, survives the destruction of Viltrum but was knocked out, hit by Thrag and sent flying through multiple Viltrumites unfazed, jumps from outer space and lands on a planet with with no notable damage yo yeah this guy is insane all right so who wins while all might is impressive his feats does not even compare to most Viltramites, especially top tier ones while battle beasts have went against top tier Viltramites and the top tier Viltramites and was the strongest opponent that that top tier Viltramite has ever win against. Looking at the data, we can clearly tell that All Might's wind attacks are more powerful than his actual strength itself, but the most he was able to do with his wind attacks is destroy maybe a city block or so or a nice portion of the city. While Battle Beast is up here going against multi-continental if not planetary level beings. 
So yeah, the major wind attacks would do nothing to Battle Beast and he would just take it as mainly a minor annoyance. But I do think All Might is definitely going to be able to get hits on Battle Beast because All Might is fast, possibly even faster than Battle Beast, but I would say they're at the same level of speed. So yeah, from all the data that we have conjured up, Battle Beast wins mid difficulty possibly higher i'm i'm gonna keep it at mid battle beast wins but that is all guys let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below please like and subscribe hit that bell and i'm out Peace.